Hello and welcome to GPTV on the most beautiful Tuesday, the 17th of October. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Peer. And how's the weather, uh, Philip? Gary, it is fantastic. Spring has sprung and I couldn't be happier yep. with the weather. I've got to tell you, my perfect weather yes. is kind of 19 to 25. I yep. like that range, 19 yep. degrees to 25 degrees. It means you can wear shorts, t-shirt. Consumer or affairs or you give you 10% range. That's or you can big. get about yep. a suit and tie and yep. not feel flustered. Gary, I'm loving the weather. I was loving the weekend's weather. I even got a little bit of a tan on the weekend, so I was oh. told. A little bit, little bit. you can see my complexion, a little bit, uh, you know, nothing that a bit of powder wouldn't fix, I suppose. I think the powder's there, Phil. I think they've makeup, I think the makeup is on. Phil. Well, I'm Gary, yes. see, I opened the door and I can't believe you just walked straight through it. So viewers, we're having a little bit of a chat about off camera, about yeah. work that either of us may or may not have done. And I know this is an issue that we've raised before, but Gary said to me before the camera started rolling, no, don't talk about it, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. And I said, maybe I will, maybe I won't. And then I opened the you door. Were, you were you always know, going I, to. I opened the door for you to either walk through or not walk through. You've chosen to walk it through. It was so inevitable. Viewers, bring it on. So in the interest of transparency, uh, you need transparency Gary and has had something done, but I'm not going oh, to point it out, viewers. Drag it out. But there is a competition. There is a bottle of Moe, French champagne, of yes. course. Moe, I'm probably not the correct pronunciation, the peasant that I am, but no doubt my father who is watching me will ring me later on to say it's this pronunciation. But a bottle of Moe to the person that can pick what is <laughs> I'm laughing now because yeah. if you can pick what's happened to Gary please send ideas at garypeer.com.au or to my personal email address which is philipk at garypeer.com.au because if you send it to my personal email address you can say what Ever you like. I've had a few of the improvements that you so desperately need to fill, but let's move on anyway and talk about the weekend that was because the weekend fill what an was a cracker. Weekend. It was 81% against an industry rate of 75%. 75 Put the towers up and what do you make of that, Phil? 75% still a so, very strong So, so Gary, it's market. interesting because I was having a discussion with Leon Gusenfitter on Sunday yes. who'd had yes. a big day on Sunday because he yes. sold two properties and sold them both do you really have, well. Have you ever put Leon Gusenfitter in your Siri ever? It's very good. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. It's, it's Leon Gusenfitter. I like that. I love Siri yeah. and, it's, and her bad, assuming Siri's a woman, her bad Absolutely. pronunciations. But um, I was having a chat with Leon yeah. and Leon was saying, you know what, guys, you, we've called the market being coming off on yes. TV really off and on for the last yes. six weeks. But Leon was saying to me yesterday yep. that he finds that there's a bit of intensity in the market. There is. He says his open for inspections are well attended. They his are. options are competitive. Yes. All of those things. So the question is, is the market softening or is it not softening? Because we can't keep flip-flopping. We can't call it strong one week well, and then not the I think, other. I think we can. I think we can and we will and we shall because if that's what it is, that's what it is. Look, we've been 80% plus most of the year. Yeah. That is a strong, a sign of a strong market. We had a couple of it's little a, it's blips a, it's a on the radar market. which yeah. looked like maybe a decline but it has been very, very strong. It continues to be. I tell you what's going to be a great litmus you test. You tell me what, yeah. Uh, that's going to be Saturday week, and I'm not talking about the Cox Plate. Oh, I'm talking yes. about Saturday week, the 28th, which has been called and hailed as Super Saturday, one of the biggest Saturdays I think in the real estate calendar. I have got auctions on that weekend, Some Gary. mad amount, but I've got to tell you, which I'm loving, by the way, but uh, it is going to be crazy. Uh, Philip, our vendor's hovering in the background with a with with cup of tea. Shall we just have a quick pause? We'll have a little tea break okay. while our vendor, who's delightfully gone, to, At I think, to a cafe, to Get amazing coffee, coffee. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. Okay. Hey, look what just popped up here. <laughs> How, How lovely this? is that? Yeah. I think this is an opportune time to talk about the delightful vendors that own this yes. property that we're currently in, Gary, Moylan Street in Bentley East. Are you going to talk about this now? I just am. Get, I'm going to get, all out, of get order. it out of order. Because, Why you know, do you do that? Because, I, I, Gary, it doesn't this is, suit my Germanic you know, background. I don't look. care. You can be yeah. the yakka that you like, but the reality is how delightful is this that the vendor has gone to the great trouble. We've got biscuits. We've got hot chocolate. They're cookies, we've got, Philip. We've got cafe lattes. Have you been watching by the new Curb Your Enthusiasm about no, the cookies? You have to see it. For those that are watching, you'll know. Larry David, yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's the latest comedy, and it and looks a cookie, like it's great a cookie fantastic. scene film. Uh, but this is two. very nice, and for all yeah. of those GPT V vendors that have had us over the last couple of months and did not go to any trouble, take like a long hard vendors. look at yourselves. Yes, please do. <laughs> and all future GPT V vendors, be we inspired. Want get, we want to get back to those be beautiful morning teas inspired. that were created. Be inspired, Phil. Let's get through the week a little bit. No, quickly. no, no. We were, we've got to pick up that conversation. So the market uh, on, off. What yeah. are you saying? 
What I'm saying, Phil, is that it is a strong market. The clearance rates have been good all year. There's been a few blips on the radar. The 28th is going to really unravel what yes. the market's all about because it's going to put a lot of pressure on clearance rates to have that much on a weekend. However, However I think it will be a good weekend. Uh, I think if it's anything 60% plus, I think it'll be a sign of a good weekend with that sort of volume. It's so two weekends in one, really. Viewers, at really the feel. risk of sounding like this is a Gary Peer and Associates commercial, which of course this entire show is, uh, but we really do have the most amazing systems and procedures, do, which Phil. I believe is the secret to us being well in excess of the clearance average clearance rates week in industry, in, week average out. clearance rate, week in, week out. So viewers, uh, those of you that do entrust us with your home, understand Thank that you. We, we believe we do things better. Yes. Uh, our success is no accident. Uh, boasting again. Phil, should we talk oh, about the weekend? Boastful, it was it? very boastful. Yeah, the weekend talk? that was, yeah, Gary, we talked about the weekend. Some... 13 out of 16 options with an 81.25% clearance rate. Jeremy Rosen's flew in Park Street, St Kilda West, had a great result there, sold for 618000 yep. footage up on the screen uh, now of him completely that auction. Yes, we like that, don't we, Phil? St Kilda West, uh, Bowen Street, uh, Malvern East, well that was undisclosed, but you've sold it very well with a family that's been there for, I think, 40 or 40, 50 years or something like that. 40 years or it's something absolutely outrageous. Viewers, for those of you that are sitting in your homes happy and staying there year after year, it does not help our business. You're very selfish. It does selfish. not enable us to buy new <laughs> BMWs or go on beautiful holidays if you're going to stay so happily in your house. Please, yes, get on please. your skates, Be move every three to five years. Help a real estate agent today, won't you? Because <laughs> you're very selfish staying <laughs> for so get long. badges, mate. Exactly sell right. your home. Sell now. Help an agent. Help, help an agent sell, sell your, your home. home. Exactly yeah. right. <laughs> All those selfish, happy you know, people. I'm going to editor's note. Um, yeah. Let's get some badges, mate. Yeah, exactly right. We'll bring it next yeah. I think we should wear it next week's show. Uh, Phil, talking about selfish vendors, how about Seven Hill and Road? Being there for in excess of 50 years is a theme here. So, I've got to tell um, you, this yeah. is the most delightful lady. Yeah, so she is. says yeah. to me when I first meet her, and she's been in Hugh and Road for 50 years, yeah. she said, Philip, I was at your wedding. And I said to her, what do you mean you were at my wedding? She said, did you get married at the Hyatt Hotel? And I yep. said, yes. And she said, she used to work in hospitality and she was responsible for either working or running the hospitality side yep. of the Hyatt uh, for, for weddings. And she said she was at my wedding. You promised me you wouldn't bring up the wedding again after I made that big blunder at the wedding. So, yes, um, Gary, yeah. uh, if only I had that footage easily available <laughs> of you running down the steps of where I got married, yeah. racing home to get my I did forget. My wedding. You know, the, as a best man, you don't have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, but, you know, I didn't want any more responsibilities to just turning on up. On our wedding video, <laughs> viewers, there is a scene of Gary running down the steps of where we were getting yep. married to race to our house, which thankfully was only 10 minutes away, to get the wedding rings. You yeah. absolute <laughs> idiot. I forgot the wedding ring and i got to tell you. <laughs> you are the world's worst best man. Your father was always a gentleman, <laughs> but what he said... But he said in, fr in front of those officiating the wedding, I'll Correct. never forget Philip Barb Correct. because Correct. he gave a lot of conservative he people a shot. He did say in front of all of the officiators, yeah, yeah. Gary, you are an Don't say anymore. Don't say Put anymore. Those words I did forget. I did forget. I did forget the ring as his best man. It's a true story. Yeah. But you know, look, I think we've it was gone a, through some. We've got you know, we've got some history together. Really, we've, got, we've we? done a lot of stupid things here. That was one of them. Uh, although I can't say together because I have to take responsibility for that one. But I think it was an omen because here you are all these. How many years have you been married? Now? Thirty years. Thirty. Years. Years, Coming see? on to 30 years. Imagine Gary. if I hadn't just had the ring handy, snapped it like that, you probably would have been would have gone. All Two or three years, she would have left you for sure. Uh, Philip, the theme continues of selfish, happy vendors. Yes. 25 Virginia caught another one. Oh. They built the house, stayed there, and uh, never get another 50 before. year sale, too. Architect design house, Philip. We thought. Sick of all these happy vendors. I know. I'm <laughs> sick of their beautiful houses. <laughs> exactly what we right. need is unhappy vendors in shit. Little house. <laughs> hey, you can't say that. We can't beat that, that out. Uh, we beat that out, thankfully, but uh, you can't have that uh, language. But we are tongue in cheek saying all these vendors staying forever. Yeah, but, uh, oh, that's so tedious. It was the weekend of the long staying vendor. But Philip, uh, Virginia Court, we thought you know, we might in, get. In all, in all seriousness, we are blessed to work in the areas that we, we work are, in. Philip, and the areas that we work in are fun. so fabulous yeah. that it's no, it, it's completely understandable why people do stay for so long. Of course but, it is. But in all, in all seriousness, um, you know, I wouldn't mind buying a new car, and the, and the sooner you sell, the better. Yeah, selling every three or four years is good. I felt one six to one seven six was the range. We thought we might get interest around that range. The reserve was uh, close to the top of that range, Philip, on the day, and, and no doubt would have been put very much inside yes. the range if that's where bidding stopped. But Philip, it did not stop. It went through the roof, sold for $2,006,000. We've got happy vendors. 
happy agents. And shout uh, out to all the buyers buyer. that part, yeah. part took in that auction because yeah. it was an emotional auction because it was just such a fabulous house. Congratulations to the vendors, congratulations to the buyers, commiserations to the underbidders. We will find you something we soon. Should, sure, we'll do our best. Philip, we didn't sell that magnificent property in Fitzroy Street. We've had a lot of fun talking about the spectacular video, but it's is, price to that's sell a now. Buy. That's a buy. Uh, $1,795,000 for looking that. If you're looking to live the most extraordinary lifestyle, I went up to the swimming pool, no, Gary, because no, no, I'd, I'd seen the video. You came late to the auction and, because and, you got caught in all of it. And the video was pretty incredible. Yeah. But I've got to tell you, viewers, that is one of the best views I've ever seen from an yeah. apartment Me building too. anywhere in the world. I agree. And, with you. and the view, I can tell you now, international standard. Anything looking out over Central And that's Park. without the model in it, isn't it? Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, she was still in the pool too, all wrinkly and, uh, and, listen, and wet. Don't, don't go all Harvey Weinstein on a sale. Let's continue with the theme uh, of uh, sales speaking and listings. Of, speaking of Harvey. Yeah. He's in a bit of trouble. So he is in a lot yeah. of trouble. And what he's done It's been is, a big week for what, sex, what hasn't he's, it? What he's done know, is... There's uh, been Harvey, there's been the Richmond football girl. Yeah. Um, it's been a big week for sex, But let's still. talk about Harvey, mm. because yeah. what he's done is, there's no question, is yeah. unforgivable. It is, And true. we don't condone no, it. No, and don't make a all. distasteful I'm, I'm joke not, about no, it I'm now. not going to be light about it. No. But I was sitting watching 60 Minutes on Sunday night. Yes, I watched it too. And they were having a big crack at him. Yes. The one thing that I hate about when somebody does something wrong, and we're all we're all human, yes. we all make mistakes. Yes. The thing that I, I believe you need to apologise and make good on your errors, but when the media loves to completely of take somebody do. that's done something wrong and then completely yes. destroy yeah, them. Absolutely. I thought and, the same and, thing. And it's, it's, I it's, it's, it's not, it's, what he's done is non-defendable. I get correct, that too. Correct. And it's wrong, but they but really just... Well, there's I mean, nothing better than the media. They love bringing down horrible. people, and this was a, a high-flying executive that was brought down to earth, and no one and he loves to doing be that better down than the to media. Earth, but to be to be destroyed, I think the the media is responsible yeah. for destroying people. That's why Gary, a lot of people watch this show yeah, because exactly. we're not it's up. we're it's not positive. no no we're not shy to tell the facts, yeah. but we don't believe in belittling people no. on this show no. except for you. <laughs> exactly right, and that just keeps people engaged, doesn't it, Phil, all the time? Uh, <laughs> look, a great weekend. Some great results, some undisclosed ones, but very, very strong. Some good beating yeah. competition. And we come to Caulfield Cup Day, Philip, uh, this weekend. Um, got a runner? I have got a runner. If you're in the Caulfield Cup, it's in the Ethereal Handicap, Philip. It's called the Reliable. Ethereal, what is, you know, racing is so strict. Yeah. What, for God's sake, is mm -hmm. an Ethereal Handicap? Well, there was a horse called Ethereal there. Uh, that you don't know about, Mr. Ignorant with racing, but Ethereal was a ra it was a racehorse that uh, I'm pretty sure won the Caulfield Cup, if I'm not mistaken, and it was a champion. So, 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 so after you've got a race, in, you've got a runner in this. What's your horse's name? In the Ethereal handicap, it's called Reliable Dame, Philip. And, Reliable uh, Dame. And so it, here uh, is one a word of caution: the chances of his horse winning is very remote. Uh, so I beg put, your pardon. Put money on this horse at your peril. Having said that, we all do wish you good luck, Gary, because Phil. the more you lose at the races, the harder you have to work at, at, oh. at the officer. I'm quite happy about yeah, the destruction right. to your balance sheet that your horses have created. <laughs> On a weekly basis. Uh, Philip, uh, just take that back for a second, because it did win last start, a last to yeah, first yeah, effort. That's called uh, a sucker's rally, Gary. It's uh, it a, sucker's won, we, yeah, a classic won. sucker's rally. You can't rally. do more than win. It won its fifth start, Philip, looped the field at 35 to one. Yep. Uh, and in fact, you know, you can actually bet during the race on some the, betting at, at the risk of was, alienating sensitive viewers, what? your horse is only one race away from being glue. Oh, don't say that, Philip. It's a <laughs> terrible know, awful know, thing to say. For those of you that are offended by horses that can remark, take you, I'm sorry. Horses can take you anywhere, Phil. This horse was, did nothing, and it came from, missed the start by two lengths, looped the field and won. Uh, yeah, it was well, 70 to 1 the during the race. By the time swabbed, Gary, it will be oh, boy, scratched we're not, we're not from trying. the ethereal cut. <laughs> that's, that's, not, ethereal that's not true, cut. Philip. They'll never detect what's, <laughs> what they've done. No, that's not I true. Do, if you it's watch a bad the, taste If you watch joke. the footage to yeah. that race, yeah. that horse was on something. Yeah, I don't know if it was there's on something. No, there's well, no not, question. I know, I know when he hit him with the whip, there were some sparks. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely well, legal. Move on, this is a real estate anyway, show. It's not a Harvey Weinstein okay. horse <laughs> racing Okay, cheer, cheer it on a liable day. could be in the Oaksville. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the auctions coming up this weekend. Yep. And then we'll just review where we're at. Lovely. We? Let's okay. do it. Phil, we don't need to wait any longer to review our property of the week because it happens to be the first of our auctions this Saturday, Straight 21st up, of October. I'm excited to talk about this property, 76A Moylan Street, Bentley East. 
a brand new two-story, four-bedroom, beautiful home, complete with absolutely everything that opens and shuts, including three glamorous bathrooms, a lock-up garage, plenty of off-street car parking. Uh, the attention to detail here, Gary, I think is second to none because they've included absolutely everything that they needed to and much more than they had to. Uh, whether it be the beautiful timber floorboards, the gorgeous smoked mirror in the kitchen. This house has got everything that opens and closes, including Miele dishwashers and Bosch ovens. Gary, it's just beautiful. And of course, it's in the most incredible precinct. This high, part of Bentley East just gets yeah. better and better. I love, I've got to say, I also love this part of Bentley East. It's almost like the the Ormond Caulfield part. Yep. Uh, Philip, this sets a new standard and benchmark in quality, and just the very fact that you've got four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Gary, uh, there, there is nothing to, to, to do here other than yep. fall in love and put the key in the front door. Well, you're doing the auction at 10.30, Philip. I might just pop down and come and see I you. I'm should, free at that time. And yeah. Adam, I know Adam Joski, very excited about representing the vendors as we all are. Yes. So uh, get down. Uh, Saturday morning at 10.30, one of our seven Open auctions. Open from 10 o'clock. And Phil, this is amazing. We've got seven auctions, none of them in the same suburb on Saturday. Everyone, well, each one Gary. of them they in a different suburb. They're calling you Gary everywhere, they're, aren't they? No, they're not, Philip, but that uh, sounds good. Surely. You uh, can't be serious. <laughs> We've got another great apartment. See, that yeah. is yeah. one of the oldest lines. I think that line goes back to the 1970s. Yeah. And that was, uh, did Fly, you remember uh, the comedian? Line, Flying yeah. High. Leslie Nielsen. Yep, yep. Uh, was but, it from there? I think it, but, I'm not sure if it was from there or yeah. it was from the uh, Naked Gun. I'm not sure which uh, one was. I think it was from Flying High. Yeah, anyway, maybe. apartment 33 at number 20, Shirley Grove, St Kilda East. We love that block. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, uh, one car space. Viewers, even if you're not interested in buying an apartment, I would say come to Shirley Grove just to see see this oasis it's a really it's a it's a secret this block of it apartments is a, it is a secret. Uh, but it's in the most beautiful botanic garden setting it's quite lovely and talking about oasis phil you know yes. the oasis uh, center the oasis bakery yes and cafe is just around yeah, the corner not here. Far from here uh, i love it over there viewers love if that you've never been thing. to the oasis bakery it's an which experience is in north field. road what suburb yeah. would it be north, north road, road. Then, uh, would be on that side i think it would Hughes be north Dale. road uh, no it's not huntingdale Hughes, Dale. Dale. not huntingdale philip it would be cunning either i, okay, so. I don't think it is but marabina google the oasis we should know. Really. I've got Terrible. to tell you, it's yeah. a cultural experience it going is. to that bakery. Brilliant. Uh, it's amazing. And they've got, just drop in there. If you've never been, go. It is incredible. Yes, and you can get all of that smelly stuff, you know, with the garlic and the well, onion. It's got a whole fantastic. Middle Eastern flavour to yeah. it there, Gary. It is it's cool. incredible. And that's why it's probably called the Oasis. It's got an Oasis in the desert. Ah. Yeah, I've just put, never thought about just that. Just put it together. There you go. It took you a while. Yeah, very, very, very quick we You'd are. be the first person who've ever seen that, yeah, uh, that, that, yeah. that, that link, Phil. Uh, more double auction action at 11.30. Philip, you're going to be meeting Nikki Janover just up the road in Ormond in Bethel Gary, Street. This what is a, a great this looking is a home. property we've sold before and it is unbelievable. It's it four is. bedrooms, three bathrooms. Uh, everything about this property is beautiful, including its gorgeous swimming pool, but it's it. timber floorboards. It's a designer. It's really drop dead designer gorgeous. Gary, beautiful. Looking Bethel forward Street's to a great spot. It is a great spot. Philip, I can't join you there because I'll be around the corner in Caulfield South. Uh, together with Adam selling this wonderful property in Remuera Street, Philip. Gary, this is a rip snorter. Is it pronounced Remuera or Remuera? No, it's Remuera. Remuera. Uh, right. Remuera, yeah. for those viewers that don't know, is an exclusive. It's the Turak of Auckland. It is, Philip. We were there. We were there. We were. Uh, we, went to see, we went to see a real estate agent. We did. talked to a real estate agent. Top agent, top agent of New Zealand. Flown over, we which is very too. nice and paid to go and talk we to were. the New Zealanders. We like that. And, uh, you know, that's not true what they say about New Zealand. No. There are some intelligent ones. They are nice brutes. They are nice. <laughs> uh, anyway, Gary, this is great. It's three or four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, plenty of garden area. It's designer gorgeous, this one. Polished timber floorboards, a great facade on the north side of the street. It is just stunning. Phil, I've got to say, we're hovering, talk about north, we're hovering around North Road, not too far on either side this Saturday. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to this one in Clee Street, McKinnon. This Gary, is a high quality property. Number 36, Clee Street, McKinnon. It is fabulous. Click on the link, viewers, because I did a video or two of their own, which I'm rather proud of. It's quite a beautiful home. Uh, it's four or five bedrooms, three and a half magnificent bathrooms, plenty of off-street car parking. One of its greatest features is its wraparound verandas and the alfresco area that's undercover. But the secret, of course, is going up to the main bedroom suite upstairs, Gary. The entire upstairs area is for the main bedroom. Uh, they've got a retreat up there together with this gorgeous uh, deck, uh, a, a kind of tech. 
a private terrace area where you could you could go up there, Gary, with a glass of wine and could serenade your loved one up there. Yeah, you should. I think that's the sort of thing you do in that sort of home. But Philip Bar, you can live in Glee if you buy in Glee. And, and it's that part of the McKinnon High School zone too, Gary. It sure so is. There's added value. It could there. be the best street, in McKinnon. It's arguably it's some street of the best on the, on the Almond Hill. It's yes, beautiful. McKinnon yeah. Hill. Uh, Phil, let's move on. Before you get over the hill, we're going to be in Murrumbina Road in Murrumbina. Graham Callum is going to be auctioning that. He's been and handling it. what a fine it. job that he's doing. And a yep. shout out to Graham and his lovely daughter, yes. Imogen, who Imogen, has yeah. joined us part she time. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't tell you how much yeah. satisfaction I get out of having two Next generations, generations yeah. working with it's us. Good it's good fun, just, isn't it? It's just fabulous. We love it. Uh, two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. Uh, courtyard garden there, Gary, with a deck. Uh, that really is a great property. And the funny, next generation is kind of the new and improved version of this generation. Well, like it's your, pretty like easy your boys to are, improve upon like your generation. Your boys are clever and you're dumb and, and like Graham's got this, you know, um, lovely daughter, even though he's lovely, but she's lovelier. Correct. Um, so it's good to see that next generation it is, coming Gary. through, as you've let's said. Let's move Phil. along, shall we? Uh, let's move along to Thomas Street, Philip. Uh, Thomas, just around the corner, again from Gary, here. Uh, a wonderful corner property, 686 square metres, and that's uh, obviously approximate title dimensions, being handled by Anna, Adam and Natalie. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, plenty of off-street car parking a very livable home, uh, in fact a, a, a quite an enchanting home, but uh, a corner, a valuable corner there Gary. That's for sure. So after you get to those auctions for the 1.30 you can hop off and check out the Caulfield Cup and I don't know what time the ethereal handicap time will be ethereal, yeah, ethereal but yeah, cheer on the live or dame. Think ethereal. Spare a thought for me and cheer on the dame Phil, the dame. Uh, Philip we're kicking into Sunday at 10.30 we have more double auction action. We're in it's Inglewood Road day. in Caulfield North. You're going to be kicking us off. Gary this is on the corner of Khartoum Street so it's actually a cartoon street address it really uh, and that's a ripper it's three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms double lock-up garage an incredible uh, cathedral type ceiling there yep. which is just stunning i like that probably a lot uh, Phil, this building is called Green Gables, if you remember yes, that. Yes, I do. And if you also remember, who gave it its name? I do, Gary. Sam, uh, the builder whose first name is Sam. Uh, and uh, shout out to you, Sam, because you really did do a great job here. Uh, yeah. And that is... Uh, oh, you're saying that you gave it the name. I gave it its name, Okay, Phil. so Sam yeah. was the developer, but yeah. Gary's claiming that he, no, I'm not claiming. he named it. I did name it. I so named you it called Green, Green Gables. Gables. I did. I named um, it, Philip. Gary, you're a marketing genius. You're exactly right. I don't Three know bedrooms, what... two bathrooms, a lock-up garage, a courtyard garden and a great location walking distance to the Caulfield train station and the new development that's happening around the race course. Always loved that project Philip and we sold them all when they were and released we to the market when they were brand already. new. We have I think so too Philip yep. but uh, get on down to Green Gables the best named building in Caulfield North. 11.30 more double auction action. You are going to be auctioning this terrific apartment in yeah, Alexander Street. Look at the I floor can't, plan. I can't wait for this. Size. This is three bedrooms yep. brilliantly renovated two gorgeous bathrooms. Have a look at the quality there and of of course, that address is sensational. Everybody wants part of the St Kilda East action with the most beautiful view there. It's incredible. That's a great apartment, Philip, as is this one in Marriott Street that I get to auction at 11.30. Looking forward to it. Darren and Sally have been uh, involved in the sale. Take us real yep, quick. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, one car space. A really good building. We had some tremendous success there last month with a private auction that we held during the week. Uh, but that's a good building, Gary. Like that one a lot. We join forces at 12.30. Philip, I'm going to be in Dandenong Road uh, checking you out for this terrific picture postcard, perfect facade property, as well, you would say, Phil. Gary, it's a fabulous property. And we have sold this property before. It's always performed well because it does look good. You're right. The location's incredible. The polished boards are beautiful. This is a turnkey home. Move straight in, not spend a cent. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and plenty of off-street car parking for a couple of cars, Gary. Or if you have that little smart car, Yes. You could probably fit 12 of them. You probably could, Phil. And I don't think there's a big demand for people who have got 12 of those cars. Well, Gary, you go to Europe, particularly yes. Italy, yes. you see them parked everywhere. Yes. They're incredible. It's actually, they're, they're like in doorways. If only they? they caught on in Australia. Exactly right. Philip, we're talking about Australia. Australia. Uh, about Australia, mate. Australia. Yep. Uh, 1 at 314 Orong Road, Court for North. It's a good address in Australia. Enter via Weisshall sure do. Court. We love this building, Gary. Three beautiful bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, undercover car parking. That really is a fantastic property. Phil, Lior and Arlene are excited and rightly so about this property in Beffer Street, Bentley East. It's going to be auctioned 
on Sunday at 1.30, Leo Samuels, the auctioneer. Garrett's big glamorous home, five bedrooms, three beautiful bathrooms, off-street car parking for three cars. Uh, again, we talk about turnkey solutions, not a cent to spend there, Garrett. Just move straight in and get on with lovable life. Powderham Road's a great spot, amazing block of land, and a solid, good-looking home. Phil goes up at 1.30, your auctioneer. Gary, 822 square metres of land on the north side of the street. Uh, and now this is, it's funny because this is actually quite a nice home with plenty of accommodation, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, double lock up garage, but the house really is going to be for free. The, there's strong interest both in the home and for the land. Uh, it's not inconceivable that that house will be replaced with a brand new one. Uh, lots of interest. Come along and have a look at a good auction. 37 Wall Street, Philip, that's going up. But 2.30, your second last auction. Goodness, yeah, you've got a busy most Sunday. Delightful client there. Um, whilst obviously we don't name our clients on the show, no. she is the most delightful woman. This is a wonderful opportunity to buy a great parcel of land together with a very livable, lettable, or renovatable home. 667 square metres of land with a three, four bedroom home with a bathroom, plenty of off street car parking. Uh, you know, you could easily buy that, put it in the portfolio, let us rent it out for the next 20 years and just ka-ching at the end, Gary. We'd be happy. We'd be happy to ka-ching that one, Philip, and that one's being handled by Sally Darren and Idan Goodman, yes. another young recruit of our company is doing really well. Doing brilliantly uh, well. Phil, we wrap up at 3.30. You're going to bring down the curtain at the end of a very busy day for you. You've got a lot of auctions oh, on. got a lot on. Uh, and on Gary, the, and not yeah, only on the hour, but, every but, hour. So I'm doing on Sunday at 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30. Yeah. I've just taken an appointment for a 4.30 appointment, listing appointment on Sunday. Yes. And then we're both going That's out right. with our wives where we we're are. hosting a function for a couple of hundred people. We are, you are. Um, I, I, <laughs> I'm not hosting. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get through Sunday. Really oh, hard. well, you're fit. That's what you do. We exercise that is, for. That is. Yeah. That is. That's why you're fit, Philip. Gary, let's talk about I'm the last. Not. Let's talk about <laughs> the last auction. This is a great property on the corner of Lambert Road, uh, and uh, we think that's a tremendous opportunity. Another property that's been in the hands of the owners for in excess of 40 years, I believe. Three or four bedrooms, three bathrooms, off-street car parking, Gary. Uh, that's either a really good home opportunity. It's also a really strategic parcel of land, so that could go either way. Gary, how good is spring? Loving the it. offerings that we've had already, yes. the offerings that we've got this week in, yes. the offerings that we've got now going all the way through to the second week in December. Yes, and third. I'm calling it the third weekend's going to be a yes. busy weekend and in third. December. Absolutely. Uh, so it's all systems go. Hey, um, don't forget the block. Uh, very, very soon. Block, it's coming up. Yeah. It's getting close to auction yeah. date and time. Uh, if you want to see through, we had, uh, look, if you were one of the... 50,000 people that went through on the weekend on Sunday. Thank you for your interest. You know what? I saw some people on at an auction on Sunday that he's a cyclist. Yeah. And he said he'd, driven, he'd ridden past the block yeah. at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And he showed me a photo. He took a photo of all of the people to get at the it block. And send it off. Yeah. And, um, the people sleeping there overnight. Literally, literally there was people a crowd sleeping, of people yeah. at 6 a.m. Well, in Joel, Joel Surfman, our office, lives on the street. Yeah. And he said there were people oh, that were people that were sleeping overnight yeah. uh, the night before. So... How about that for block action? But it's coming up very soon, so we're looking forward to bringing that. It's so good to have it in the hood. Yep. And uh, good luck, Jason and Sarah. We're on we're your rooting team. For you. We're rooting for you. Rooting for you. Pushing for you. Hoping for you uh, that your magnificent creation is the winner. And if not the winner, well, we hope you make a whole lot of money anyway. That's a big little, little plug, though. Yeah. If you are thinking of selling this year, you've got to get your roller skates on. You got need to, to be it. booking an auction yeah. in the next week or two. Otherwise, it's 2018, where we already have properties listed through We've February We've got some and very, March. very full weeks already booked. So we do. Uh, you're certainly not too early to get on for next year. That's a big wrap on GPTV. Uh, the week of Harvey, horses, houses and a hell of a good time. That's what we'll call the, the show. Harvey, horses, horses and houses. <laughs> Viewers, thanks for watching. My name's Philip Kingston. You have a fabulous week. Gary Pierce, see you next week.